An important deadline is passed for those hit by those January 12th storms in Alabama, but you can still get help if you're recovering. Yeah, yesterday marked the last day to register with FEMA and apply for federal grants. However, the Small Business Administration is still accepting loan applications for a limited time. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens has tips on rebuilding from FEMA and how you can still apply for those SBA loans. More than two months after devastating tornadoes left seven people dead, help from FEMA and the Small Business Administration is still on the ground for survivors. We are still here ready to help ready to serve. We're still here for people that need to look up things and see where they stand if they don't know where they are at this point. While it may be too late to get grants from FEMA, FEMA Community Outreach Specialist Betty Bird says they're still offering assistance through another way, rebuilding tips. And we have information on mold cleanup, different roof styles where you can attach your roofs in a different way where it makes you less prone to damages in the future. We have information on wall systems, safe rooms. While this may not be a form of financial assistance, the way storm survivors rebuild can save them money in the long run. The Small Business Administration is still accepting applications during their extended grace period. If they refer you to SBA, please apply to SBA. And then if we can't help you for whatever reason, be it your credit or be it able, you, you just can't stretch another payment out of your um, monthly income, then we refer you back to FEMA. Julie says loan payments have different interest rates depending on the type of loan. Again, we do offer the loans in long term, 15 to 30 years. Interest rate for um, renters and homeowners is 2.313%. For businesses, it's 3.05%. And then for non-profits, it's 2.375%. There isn't a set deadline for SBA applications, but they're urging people to apply now before the grace period ends, which could be any day. Monet Stevens, WSFA 12 News. For loans over $25,000, the SBA may ask for collateral to offset the loan. However, you can still qualify for the loan if you do not have collateral.